In the kingdom of Nyctophilia, a blanket of darkness shrouded the land, its grip unyielding and cold. This wasn't the peaceful tranquility of night, but a suffocating black void where the sun had become a distant memory, a whispered legend passed down the generations. The darkness had been a curse, turning the once peaceful inhabitants into monstrous shadow creatures that prowled the eternal night. Amongst the cursed, a figure of hope emerged. He was Aiden, a resilient warrior, haunted by a past he wished to forget. Fueled by the desire to free his homeland, Aiden resolved to seek the source of the darkness and lift the curse that held his kingdom hostage. He had been honing his combat skills for this moment and was ready to face whatever the shadows threw at him. Armed with his sword of illuminating crystal and a heart full of determination, Aiden ventured into the sinister embrace of the dark forests. The trees were gnarled and twisted, a distorted reflection of their former glory. Shadow beasts lurked behind every tree, their glowing red eyes watching him intently. But Aiden was resolute. His sword, channeling a fraction of the sun's forgotten light, held them at bay. The journey led him to ancient ruins, remnants of a civilization that once flourished under the sun's warmth. His presence disturbed the eerie silence, awakening undead guards still bound to their ancient duty. A clash of steel echoed through the ruins as Aiden fought them off, his sword of light cutting through the dark. As Aiden delved deeper into the darkness, whispers of a forgotten truth began to unravel. The curse, he discovered, was not a punishment from a vengeful deity as the legend stated, but the consequence of his ancestors' greed. The ancient kings of Nyctophilia had sought to control time itself, to engulf the world in a perpetual twilight, thus gaining more hours to amass wealth and power. They had used dark magic that backfired, trapping the kingdom in a never-ending night, transforming the inhabitants into monstrous forms. This revelation shattered Aiden's perceptions of good and evil. He realized that the real enemy wasn't the darkness, but the greed and ambition that had birthed it. His ancestors, once hailed as benevolent rulers, were responsible for their own downfall. This understanding fueled his determination further, for he knew that the curse was man-made and therefore could be lifted. The source of the curse lay in the heart of the ancient castle, within a chamber guarded by the Shadow King, the most grotesque creature of them all. In a battle that echoed throughout the cursed kingdom, Aiden fought with everything he had. He poured his sorrow, his rage, his hope into each strike, each parry. The light of his sword clashed against the dark magic of the Shadow King, a beacon in the abyss. With a final resounding blow, Aiden drove his sword into the heart of the Shadow King. A blinding light erupted from the sword, racing across the kingdom. As the light touched each shadow beast, they transformed back into their human forms, freed from the curse that had bound them. Aiden, exhausted but victorious, watched as the sky above Nyctophilia gradually lightened, revealing a sight unseen for centuries, the break of dawn. Aiden's journey, though perilous, served as a reminder for the people of Nyctophilia, that unchecked ambition could lead to destruction, that darkness was not always evil, and that even in the bleakest times, hope could ignite a spark bright enough to shatter the darkest curse.